Our guest is already in studio and I just want to pass the ball to him, allow him to introduce himself, you know, tell us his name, uh, what he loves doing, why he, um, he is in this particular space, you know, where he is empowering persons with disabilities. Good afternoon. No, it's still morning. Good morning, Cosmos. Uh, good morning to you. Kari was on Apple Radio. Thank you so very much. Yes, introduce yourself. <laughs> All right. Thank you so very much for having me. Uh, my name is Cosmos Julius. Uh, Cosmos is a visually impaired person. Mm -hmm. We call ourselves VIP squared. That means like I'm a visually impaired, but I'm equally a very important person. Yes. Um, Cosmos is, um, is, a, is an MC. I'm a, I'm a visually impaired MC in Kenya currently. Only one MC VI in the wow. country at the moment. That is beautiful. And um, yeah, we're in this space of uh, PWDs mm -hmm. trying to um, to make it kill awake. Mm -hmm. Yes. Other than just being an MC, you know, and I'm doing so much in this space, you know, where you're empowering persons with disabilities, what else do you do? Well, um, I'm a founder of an NGO called Mindaleo Olemov Organization whereby um, Mandalore Lemov organization does a lot of uh, advocacy matters to do with disability. We do um, lobbying opportunities for people with disability. We do corporate trainings, disability inclusion um, uh, trainings, mm -hmm. and then we also do um, assessments to buildings and organizations that are disability friendly. Mm -hmm. Then we recommend to National Council for award. Yes. Yes. And how did you get into this space? Yeah. How did you get into you know, Ispes uh, Sana, You formed this you know <laughs> NGO and it's doing so well. Ilianza Aji. Well, um, uh, thank you so very much. Uh, this uh, this um, journey started away seven years ago. I was um, involved in a road accident, uh, whereby I, I, I during the after the accident actually got several injuries, mm -hmm. but uh, the worst was losing my sight. And uh, over time, I, I realized that um, there is this other world of disability that uh, people have not really uh, don't talk much about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, given that, um, uh, I, I thank God that during the um, d during the accident and after the accident, after acquiring now my my visual impairment, it gave me a moment to interact with so very many people in different organizations mm -hmm. that gave me a reason to accept myself and like ah, I can pick it up and uh, you know roll yes. it over. Yes. Yeah. And and these organizations, so the government, like part of you know this journey, I mean, it's just you know uh, private organizations coming on board. Um, to be very honest, it is majorly the private organizations that are mm -hmm. coming on board. But uh, there are those activities that we are doing that the government usually comes in, like uh, we can merge these and do together. Mm -hmm. Because um, there, there's what the government can do, and uh, there's what we can do. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, um, Across the board, we've been involving the, the the government so much because we belong to the government and the government is us. Yes. Yes. And I just want you to tell the listener, because we have about nine minutes to go for a very short break, we get some business news, but I want you to tell the listener uh, what they are, the, what he or she should be expecting in the next hour when we are now delving you know, into this conversation, like the huge part of the conversation, in a nutshell, to expect Nini from your end. Oh my goodness, so amazing, so amazing. <laughs> uh, one thing I want to tell guys is um, uh, there's a lot that is coming on our way, and as just as I said, I'm uh, an MC, so you expect from uh, 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 a visually impaired MC in the country uh, what what you want to do. You know, when I'm behind the mic, there's a lot. Of, uh, there's a lot want to want to talk. And um, as far as um, spiritual matters is concerned, because I'm a believer, mm -hmm. I need to tell people that uh, it. I mean, hope is not lost. All yes. we're here to encourage, and of course, to tell people it's doable. And yes. all above all, God is in control of every other thing. Yes, many of us are actually limited with our sight, mm -hmm. and um, you you believe that you're able to do most of these things. You know, clean your house, uh, prepare your day because you are able. You know, to have um, or basically you have the uh, um, the vision of sight. Uh, you have sight, so I am fascinated with the fact that you're able to make prepare your own meal you're able to iron and do all these things that is beautiful yeah sure tell me oh oh my goodness um i'm a human being like you yeah the only thing that um it's it's only that you have an ability to see me but uh, every other thing i just do the, just like you and then don't forget that uh, my disability is acquired mm -hmm. therefore meaning that previously i could cook mm -hmm. you know i could do everything Mm -hmm. So um, just a moment of like a, me a moment came, then the site went. But again, uh, I'd now to to learn to do it in a in a in a in a, in a, in a better way. Mm -hmm. Now that I have disability, that I was like now how do I do it? Now to answer your question, I after um, acquiring this disability, 
uh, there was a moment of course you know you could not accept yourself like uh, why did this had, had to happen at uh, such a time you know um after that i i managed to get to kenya institute for the blind mm-hmm. it's actually based uh, around wilson airport uh, that's where i went for maria program uh, where i took um uh braille uh, just to do braille in english mathematics swahili uh, yeah and then we also had uh, another subject called adl adl is activities of day living mm-hmm. where now your questions uh, lies like um how how do i do things mm-hmm. then we have another one called orientation and mobility which could help me uh, to use a white can you know what i'm using today is a white can people other people could just say this is a walking stick but yes. it is not a walking stick now adl activities of daily living it's where i could learn like how do i cook mm-hmm. how do i do my laundry how do i like polish my shoes mm-hmm. how do i know my shirt is clean mm-hmm. how do i know that um, i want to put uh, maybe a uh, 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 blue trouser mm-hmm. w- which shoes i want to use today or other which i mean how do i identify these things how can i spread my bed yes. so today what i can do Uh, probably maybe in Kenyan roads it's only driving but if it's an open place on a drive so there's nothing I can do oh, that is amazing <laughs> yes. and this particular um course that you're talking about is it accessible to every other Kenyan a common Kenyan um is it affordable um yes i can say um it is affordable because one i, I believe it, sh- it should start from the w- the goodwill mm-hmm. if you 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 have a goodwill that you need to learn i mean it's affordable yes and then um i believe we come from a society that we belong that we've got parents we've got brothers and sisters you see if you cannot empower this person literally that means i mean you don't you don't want this person to live mm-hmm. so if and when we have a goodwill the society is there and uh, they always help you get to school mm-hmm. so uh, the school fees is not very cheap but it's affordable because mm-hmm. one thing is as so long as you've been enrolled and you of course you paid some amount uh, the institution itself could help you to get some um, uh some other uh let me say funds from the national council for for people with disability mm. uh, and then if from there you want to take up your program okay yes allow me to ask you you talked about um you know being in that space where you are not able to accept this situation amari circumstances in mekupata do we have like um sessions that people are taken through for you to now accept that you have to start living like this um uh, just the classes work the classes you've mentioned for us Well um thank you so much uh, the same institution um does uh, a lot of uh, uh, like empowering a lot of counseling but before I joined there uh, the, my, my church I thank God for my church system so much because it did a lot in mm-hmm. terms of um, working with me over the journey because uh, I want to tell you like accepting yourself it's not easy because it's something that you've just got on the way that you never you were never born with it mm-hmm. so like how do I accept it that maybe at my prime age when I feel like you know I need to do one two three yes. so that I can my, maybe gather for my family you know it is not something easy mm-hmm. but um, I want to tell you if you don't have a good supportive system you want to break yes you want to break completely and uh, i remember i after after the getting these of course there was a moment of like i was not accepting myself for about um, one year one year plus about one year and four months mm-hmm. like i could not accept accept myself completely i was very bitter with everybody and every everything around me mm-hmm. I, i thank god that like, um, when i i got a moment to get to the institution that's when i was taken through the therapy and of course trying to be like uh, man you you have a right to leave yes and of course pole pole i'm here today to give these testimonies oh man yes. it's amazing yeah. and um before we went uh when we when we went on that particular break i remember just asking you how um we as a society are not there yet where i would say that we are educated on how to you know act around persons with disabilities how would you know just explain to us how this works because most of the times we find that people um, who are able to differently uh, when you interact with them kidogo no gopa you might offend them with what you do or what you say and um yes as a society to neza sema tujafika hapo bado when i meet someone with um disabilities uh, or a disability i'm not able to know how to act like can you educate us kidogo na hapo au kama kenya society tumefika wapi <laughs> wow so um is the training is within alipisha so oh mimi naweza kuchukua free kidogo tu but anyway uh, for the sake of our pal um, um, listeners uh, there is there is i think what the society is lacking today two things mm-hmm. and uh, put them in bold 
it's just a goodwill and a being intentional mm-hmm. towards people with disability. Because when I'm a visually impaired person, I belong to a family. Yes. I belong to a clan, I belong to a certain region, I belong to a certain county. Why should I be taken as a, as, as a, as a, as a vulnerable person that I cannot be involved maybe in the, maybe, uh, let's say, call any, any, any discussion within the, the, the community? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not consulted because people like, I mean, you cannot even read and sign, you know? But people forget that uh, um, it, it's only the sight, mm-hmm. but the rest of the brains are sharp. Mm-hmm. Because the brain is sharp, like, I mean, hey. you don't need to consult these people. Don't be a poor. <laughs> Yes. Uh, and in poly like in that's the truth yes yes and um one thing i want to say uh the government today is is, is doing is doing a lot mm-hmm. through uh, different stakeholders but still it has not gone down to the villages where we come from mm-hmm. you know we just met in Nairobi, and uh i thank god that maybe uh, i had exposure there before so i know these institutions were there but i'm just trying to imagine a person who's never been to Nairobi. Mm-hmm. he's got this disability who doesn't have even even the, the 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 identity card just to identify this person that these are person with a disability mm-hmm. that one itself it's it's just a big 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 thing mm-hmm. then uh there's also just as i mentioned this thing the word goodwill and being intentional is just a big thing mm-hmm. because we have a we have a very big right to education we have yes. a very big right to to health we have a big uh, a very big right for for freedom of expression and every other thing but we just choose willingly that let me not involve this person probably in terms of mobility is going to be a challenge who is going to like because they don't have a braille materials that maybe i want to read so that probably after reading i could also give my my feedback mm-hmm. so they just choose like no 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 no, no let's just neglect this but so would you say sometimes it's because um as a person mm-hmm. uh, who's interacting with someone with disability i am trying to be compassionate i'm trying to be kind mm-hmm. and sometimes it's, it's interpreted wrongly but on my end i'm actually trying to be very kind and compassionate well one thing I want to tell you, we are human beings. Yes. And uh, a person with a disability is entitled to be loved, to be shown love. I mean, if you meet me on the way, you know, I'm, I'm a person using a white can. You don't care, like, is this person in need of any assistance? Mm-hmm. Instead, you just go and me in a show, show like you just go. I'm, a, I'm, I'm coming, like, somebody's holding me, or accidentally I've hit at you. What comes first in Matusi? Mm-hmm. I mean, by the time you're, I mean, you're, you're like realizing, you're like, oh my goodness. And then you're like seeing the other. Why are we too fast to judge people? Mm-hmm. Why, why can't we like have just a minute like, oh God, uh, why is this guy hitting me? Mm-hmm. Why can't we have that courtesy? Mm-hmm. We don't have courtesy to people with disability. Mm-hmm. But then you see, that's why we are we outside here. And I thank God for Power Radio that has given us an opportunity to say Lazima kita mm-hmm. We don't we don't have like uh, we need to wash it wash it. It's either you are there or not. Oh, we can't wash it wash it. Not at all. Okay. Not at all. Mm-hmm. Because we we have a right to to everything. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I just can't offer my help. I also need to ask if uh, it's okay for me to offer the help. Well, um, it's allowed. But it depends again, how do you want to give me your offer? Yeah. The first thing is, uh, probably if you've met me maybe standing on the road, that one does not tell you that I need your help. Mm. But how do you like engage me in a manner that at the end of the day, I'm going to give you a consent that I need your help? Probably you'll come, like uh, introduce yourself. Like, hi, uh, because I'm a man, you definitely say like, good afternoon, sir, good morning, mo- uh, good morning, sir. Mm-hmm. My name is Sharon and um, I could uh, maybe wish to help you. Do you need any other, any other help? Do you need to cross? Then I'll be like, oh, okay, I'll be grateful. Yeah. But you see, don't come. Just like automatically, you just feel like, ah, nelazimu mutu anafaa kuvuka barabara. Who told you that uh, I need to vo- to, cl- <laughs> to cross? I'm waiting for my cab. I'm waiting for my driver to come and pick me go. Yes. So there's that narrative, like, you know, have a moment, have courtesy. Mm-hmm. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, madam. Can I help you? Mm-hmm. Because Kenyans, yani, sisi tunayenda na, we are you're always on the move. Tunakimbianga. Mm-hmm. Ndoyo sasa. But I, I, I welcome your help. If you see any person uh, with the disability, I'll, I'll just a minute. Like, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, madam. 
I could wish to help you. Yes. Are you are you are you willing? Mm-hmm. So the person and you realize we are very courteous people. Mm-hmm. You know, the only thing we need we need to be accommodated. Mm-hmm. Why should I I mean you didn't excuse on it to me and happy? Well. <laughs> <laughs> you only use it when you're in court like, excuse me allow me first to the other side we even use it wrongly excuse me peter yeah i want to hospital excuse me i'm going to go no 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 we are human beings mm-hmm. we absolutely need that courtesy yes. so ki kuja vizuri i'll tell you nahitaji usaidize but you come like you know kuja kushika wetken yangu i'll tell you i'm sorry um, i don't need your help yes and of course that time it will sound that we are, that we are rude mm-hmm. but in the real sense how did you approach me It's the approach it really exactly, matters exactly. okay and i just want us to talk about maendeleo ya wale mavu uh, my question for you right now would be uh, have you been able to create awareness and just foster inclusivity for persons with disabilities in the country well thank you thank you so very much yes. um the, the the answer i want to give it's absolutely yes yes um one, one thing allow me say about maendeleo wale mavu um why maendeleo wale mavu you know people look at it or they sound so like uh, why am i in the layer of the mouth mm-hmm. you know um if you say it in english probably what you please say about it in english unataka ni chomi hapa kwa reduce please choma tu i wanna talk about it so um my in the layer literally it's the progress mm-hmm. of the pwds yes now I, i i i thought of it like um why do i need to call it a, a, an english name whereas people back in the society pali chini ushagonda ni pale mtaa kabisa mm. people don't understand if i call it maybe an english name yes but if i call it maendeleo ya wale mavu it is easy for them to understand mm-hmm. um one thing i want to confess right now maendeleo ya wale mavu organization is um, uh, awaiting uh, accreditation from the, the the ngos board yes and um when i i, I thought of this i was not alone Mm-hmm. we were quite a number of um, uh, good people we had the different types of pwds and uh, i felt like it's high time that we need to raise to an occasion and um, you know make progress as far as the pwds are concerned mm-hmm. now currently today you know we have organizations that work for pwds and there those people work for these organizations mm-hmm. but you realize the people who, who, are, who are leading these organizations they're not pwds yes so how do you say you are representing pwds and yet you don't know where my my, my foot is paining mm. so i i thought it um it could be wise for for us just to call a spade a spade you know i i i i, I preach water i drink water mm. so i came when, when i sat down and I felt like you know it's high time we need to have the mindaleo le mavu organization mm. mindaleo le mavu organization part of what it does um i i said uh, the early it's advocacy mm-hmm. and uh, inclusion is something that we cannot avoid yes today Mm-hmm. that's a conversation that we have in church in um, in hotels call it in schools every, anywhere just yeah. just try to imagine a scenario um this this a person who is using a wheelchair is going to the hospital the wheel, the hospital doesn't have uh, a, a ram yes. how do you expect this person to access the the, the service in the hospital mm-hmm. now this a person with um, a person uh, who is a physical or other short stature mm-hmm. then you umeleta gari gari yenye hata kijaribu ku raise mguu i mean like like where the door is almost half half of of of, of the person now might just above the chest mm-hmm. so how do you accommodate these people yes. so a moment came like all pwds have got a very special uh, treatment that need to be given so what what is the reasonable accommodation do you give these people mm-hmm. and i can tell you the reasonable accommodation you give to these people it's um It, it it differs from one one person to the other mm-hmm. so the only thing is now we need to talk about here is how do we remain inclusive as much as possible yes that is the organizations and uh, as a community mm-hmm. you know uh, for example there's what you call um, what has been going around uh, by, by the government like pu- public participation about the the housing housing thing now at what point do you include these pwds Yes. You're building house, uh, houses multi nasema maybe slums. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, do you did you really like, maybe at one point like accommodate these people like look here guys. We need all PWDs. We need to understand eh? even the the, the 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 landscape. Mm-hmm. Like how do we do it? How mm-hmm. can we do this so that a person who is um, visually impaired eh? a time a time comes when I don't have a guide. 
Yes. But I need to move out of the house. I need to come to Nairobi. I need to come to Power Radio for this such a program. Mm -hmm. So how do I get from the house to the stage if the road is not even? Because the road should have what we call the, the walking paths yes. or rather it should have what we call shorelines. So that is this for me to use my white can just trying to clear the way mm -hmm. as I get to the stage. But you realize today, I mean, it's terrible. Yeah, it's and terrible. You cannot... And you're no. just mentioning that, there's, um, does it show that the government is also like falling short in including persons with disabilities in so many areas in the country? Well, I can't say, um, not per se, because one thing I want to say, the President of the Republic of Kenya today, mm -hmm. that is the uh, uh, Excellency uh, William Ruto, yes. is a person who is very passionate with people with disability. Mm -hmm. I remember myself and a very, very big group in, in, in Nairobi and other quarters, we really... Um, said that we need to vote for this government to come in or the president to come in because we had one-on-one -on -one moments talking to him like what we need i remember in several occasions we had um, meetings in karen formerly his residence and also uh, tarescos we, we 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 said what we need we sat with him for over four hours mm -hmm. and then from there the service charter uh, i mean sorry the disability charter was like it need to, to be signed. This is what we're going to do when we're coming to power. I, I thank God that uh, God gave him that opportunity to, to come to power. Yes. But as we speak today, all the information we had given, all the suggestions we had given, they've not been signed to, uh, to become a disability charter. And that's what we are saying. It is not that the government does not know what we want. Yes. I think, just as like I said earlier, it's just the goodwill. Mm -hmm. and a big intention about this. Because one thing I want to tell you, uh, God forbid, um, uh, uh, like uh, the, the, the later President El Mio, Stanley Moe Kibaki, you know, why did we, you know, the, the Act of Disabil uh, Disability Act were had to, to, to be implemented or rather came to, to, to play? It's because during his campaign, he actually got an accident. Mm -hmm. He was doing his campaign on, on a wheelchair. So, I mean, th that's when they came to realize, oh my goodness, life can just change, just like you, it just a twinkle of an eye. Yes. Then it changes your status, mm -hmm. it changes your name. They're, they're, I mean, that time we look like, you know, but today we're going to keep off, we're mm -hmm. Nikiwete. Niki it's just, actually, one of the trainings that we usually don't tell people, disability is a club mm -hmm. that you want to join any time. If you don't allow me and my colleagues who are already in this club to make it better for you. Because one thing I want to tell you, Sharon, at one point you must join this club, mm -hmm. either by age, mm -hmm. either by accident, or in your family of people who have got this disability. Yes. So how do you treat these people? So one thing I want to do as Mindaleo Lemov organization, in partnership with so many other organizations, it is, we, we, are, we are creating a lot of workshops and of course trainings, like and see, like how do we train these people? Mm -hmm. And I can tell you people in the corporate, actually they are so adamant. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to say this, but I need to say this black and white. They're so adamant because this is a CEO of an organization. This is a CEO of a parastatal. This guy, I mean, he is dropped in the office, mm -hmm. uh, lift, office, back to the basement, gari, off he goes. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't know, like, ah, what to, like, maybe when he's coming to the Anakuja uh, office, I, this is a person who needs to cross the road. This is a visually impaired person. Mm -hmm. I've stood somewhere, I need to cross the other road, the other side of the road. Mm -hmm. So I've started like now and mature one step, the second step, the guy is waiting at me. So for God's sake, do you see even the colors that uh, oh, in, uh, colors go kwa, kwa white can? Mm -hmm. What does it mean? Mm -hmm. You know, there is red. To you, what is it? Kwani ni Valentine too? Oh my God. <laughs> so the thing is, people, they've decided like, I, I don't care. Mm -hmm. Adikime, okay, just say Jin again on a seba. Okay, Kupa, that's what okay, okay, situation. That's when you realize, oh my goodness, there is a person I ever saw who was a visually impaired person. Mm -hmm. When I was going to the office, I just looked at this person. What if you could spare just a second or 40 seconds just to allow this person cross and then you go? Would you think that also just having um, education forums, you know, educating people on how to act and how to interact with persons with disabilities would probably help in this area? Absolutely. I, 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 I thank God that um, myself as a Mandela Lemov organization and at the National Council with other stakeholders that are, uh, we are doing this thing together, we've always uh, written uh, letters 
and um, of course sought to do uh, inclusion trainings mm -hmm. though the, the people are very passionate there are people are very much willing like let's know like how do we give a reasonable accommodation mm -hmm. there are people who've done it so quite a number of uh, let me say um, private organizations they are very much willing to know like um, how, how can we help you how do we remain uh, inclusive mm -hmm. we've always done that but again there are those people who are like I mean what for you see when I, for example when I was coming over this side mm -hmm. um, people see me walking with a white cane what come first in your mind this is a blind person probably he's come to sort for for coins or he's come just to be kukupatua maybe kitu kidogo mm. but i told you probably i've come like to come to, to seek for for partnership mm -hmm. that my organization with the pal need to work for for for, for i mean to work together so that we can um, educate the society yes so there is a lot we're doing and uh, i can say as far as disability is concerned it is something that we cannot run away yes. from. Yes. We must be very intentional and we must like, you know, we, we are here. We're here. Mm -hmm. And we've got, uh, one thing I want to tell you, these P PWDs are very sharp people. Yes. Are very sharp people. Mm -hmm. I tell you today, if you need an accountant, get a visually impaired uh, accountant guy. Mm -hmm. I wanted to talk about that. <laughs> so hold on to that thought. To me, if you please to Nasema, we are accommodating persons with disabilities. Not at all. Completely? Not at all. Zero? Not at all. Um, the constitution of Kenya today is very clear that uh, every organization, either public or private, um, they should give at least 5% mm -hmm. opportunities to people with disability. For example, it's very practical. Here in Power Radio, mm -hmm. how many opportunities do you have for people with disability? You want me to answer that? <laughs> don't answer that's an answer that is the reason it's an answer yes. itself but one thing i'll say um i think just just the, the, the government has decided intentionally not to to, to do to do this because one the government has all the machineries mm -hmm. it has a right to to uh, like um, to supervise these organizations yes. these private organizations upon registration I mean, it's very clear that people with disability have got equal opportunities. They need to be given, a, you know, a, to, to, to work. Mm -hmm. But it's not there. Yes. Uh, the government, uh, they call it the county governments. It is, it is within the statutes that they need to have a representation of PWDs. Mm -hmm. But I mean, go county by county. See who are the people are there. Mm. On a part of maybe the person who is, um, God forbid, because they are also PWDs, on a part of maybe him to alikata, sorry, makucha moja alikatwa, ama one finger is not there, yeah. he's time to be a PWD, which mm. is fine. But what of these other, 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 other PWDs? Mm -hmm. So one thing I want to say is, there is a law, you know, Kenya, we have good laws, you know, but we fail to implement them. Mm -hmm. I wish that it's high time that the private sector need to raise to an occasion, even challenge the government, mm. that the fact that the government, you people are here to help us go through the, this journey, you're not implementing this. Mm. So therefore, uh, that's why you see um, uh, private organizations and um, uh, uh, the disability organizations are coming together, working together, so that at least we could see how best can we accommodate these people. Yes. Because if it means to have the knowledge, we have it. If it means to have the, 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 the experience, we have it. So it's only that people will look at it like now, this is a physically challenged person. Uh, for this person to move from one place to the other, because there are those people like they literally they must have a guide. Mm -hmm. Like uh, for example, the, the the deaf brothers and sisters, they need assigned language interpreters. Mm -hmm. Like the front office of the organization, a person who is seated just actually at the, at the reception, you know. They, they, they don't even send language interpreters. God mm -hmm. forbid, a client is coming and needs services at Power Radio. Do you have uh, a personnel who could come and interact with this deaf person? Mm -hmm. The good answer is well known to you. Yes, but it is. one thing is, we need to have this disability knowledge mm -hmm. and we need to be very much ready to employ these people. I can tell you today, there are quite a number of expertise in PWDs. Yes. It's only that people like, you know, the question you always ask me, Wako happy? You know, they're there. But you don't just get, I mean, go to the street to another colleague and say, wait, wait, wait. No. Mm -hmm. We have registered organizations. They've got a uh, data indicating very clear that I've got a uh, Joshua who is an accountant who's done to this level. Mm -hmm. I've got this person who's done secretarial. I've got this one who's done banking. Mm -hmm. I've got this 
who is best in marketing who is best in pr i mean so if i'm an employer right now and i want to place someone uh, with a disability i'll have to go to these organizations uh, there are quite a number. I can, uh, I can just mention a few. Mm -hmm. Well, there is what you call, uh, there is this organization we call Next Step Foundation. Mm -hmm. It's just uh, along um, Uyakwe, next to uh, um, next to Safaricom head, head office. I mean, almost, let me say, quite a number of uh, staffs, they are PWDs. There is this supermarket in Isli, I forgot his, its name, uh, almost 90% of its workers yes they are they are deaf people wow i'm telling you it's amazing yes. and uh we, we we have so many organization even um hospital industry i mean they, they have it but you see now what 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 informs informs these organizations that they need to have these the personnel one people don't know that when you employ a person with disability in your organization there is some stipend that come from the government there is there is some tax exemption that you need to be you will be exempted mm. because one you you are trying to upload the law number two this person because it's a pwd um is tax exempted so there is that incentives that mm. comes along uh, with you employing the person with disability so people look at our ability you know so much than like what is this person going to bring on the table yes yeah so opportunities are there but eh, <laughs> and even the, before the eyes of the Lord, we are human beings, we deserve the same opportunities, but we just choose like not to, to give a moment for these people to work. And but that I, is uh, why we have people like you, organizations like Mendeleo, uh, uh, you know, just empowering us and, um, you know, we're going to improve and improve and improve. Yes. Yeah. And I have a question for you from one of our listeners. Uh, the question is, in Kenya, what would you say is the most important uh, progress you've witnessed in implementing uh, disability-sensitive policies? Um, uh, disability policies? Yes, sensitive policies. Um, one thing I want to say, uh, as, far as, as far as policies implementations are, are, are concerned, mm -hmm. uh, I, I can rate out of 10, I want to give it a genuine 4. Mm -hmm. Why? Because, you know, disability policies are there. Yes. But do we uphold them? Mm -hmm. I mean, do we do we um, uphold them in the sense that uh, they are there? We've always had uh, workshops, seminars, and uh, like this, what we need to do. We've had different stakeholders coming, giving different ideas, and then we are like, yeah, as as far as the policy policy implementations are concerned, I mean, we are still not at par. Yes. So. The, the still um, i'm just going back to the same 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 words i used like um we are lacking the goodwill and being intentional towards this because when the government uh private sectors could always be positive about this policy implementation we'll always be there so we are we are, we are there i mean uh, kidogo kidogo we just choose not to because kenyans uh, we are very sensitive about this but at times we just like ah okay i'll give it uh, a shot so just, next time we're doing our best yeah yeah we're just doing our best to mm -hmm. go to i mean yeah never too like uh it can be part of our but you know imagine a situation says you mama kapo kutoka home you've come to work god forbid accident can happen i'm always saying i'm going to have an attack i'm a stroke me at the end of the day you know it completely change your status now how do you want the society how do you want a person who's passing by how do you want your boss in the office to give you reasonable accommodation because one mm -hmm. you were employed when you were physically fit mm -hmm. but god forbid something happened on the way so how how do you give i mean which reasonable accommodation do you give mm -hmm. do you even mind like to know bona la sharna machelewa the first thing is like nikuanza kumkelelesha wait wait what is no 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 have a moment for god's sake mm -hmm. this is just a human being like you he deserves the best she deserves yes. the best have a moment like excuse me a barrier subway in missouri but today mm. you realize this person will tell you i'm very sorry i had an attack on, on my way um, an accident happened and uh, actually one of my my leg is really you know in pain mm -hmm. so two and now two Yes. What we are lacking actually in Uto. But these things, this is Sharia Zipo, Sharia Zime Chapisho, Vitabu na Kala Mingi Sana. Like in Kuzefata na Kuzi Kusema Kombo Lazima Zifanya Kazi. Mm mm. Eo, eo, Kitambo Tulisema. Ay, Tutakutana Nambele. We are Pearl Radio.